Hi and welcome, it's Jenna from McGuire. I hope this has been a good week for you. Today I am doing a little shake up to my traditional product release close up video. I'm gonna change it up and make it a product and card close up video. So I'm going to show you a bunch of new products from a company, everything included in a release and a few simple cards I created with those products. Hopefully they'll inspire you and help you get a better look at the release and decide if any are things that you might wanna to add to your stash. So this release is from Honey Bee Stamps. Honey Bee Stamps is celebrating their second birthday and I'm really excited, it's a wonderful company and this is a really big release for them and I am blown away by how strong it is. There are some really clever, unique and creative products in here. So I'm gonna walk you through them and show some cards along the way. So my favorite stamp set from this release is the Blah 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 stamp set. This is a fantastic sentiment set. It's a large one with some great fonts and there are some encouraging sentiments and some really funny sentiments. So we've got, I'm here for you, it's gonna be okay. More coffee, please. Need wine, question mark. Do I have to adult today? So you can team up these sentiments to create a bunch of different playful things. Great to just send to a friend as a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of fun. I made this card using it. On the outside it says, do I have to adult today? On the inside it says, life happens, stay strong. So you could use the sentiment set with other images or you can team it up with this blah bunny stamp set. This has this cute little bunny who looks like he's just done for the day. So I made the little flag to look like he's surrendering and a cup of coffee next to him. There are some other little images you can put with it and it teams up nicely with the stamp set I just showed you. So for this card here, all I did was color it in with Copic markers and I used the coordinating dies that are available to cut out the pieces. You'll see a little bit of texture on the background. I'll show you what that is a little bit later in this video. And of course there are coordinating dies available for the stamp set. By the way, I'm just showing a quick look at the cards I made today here in the video. You can go to my blog to get a closer look of each of them. Next we have the Stick With Me stamp set. This is another larger stamp set. I like that there are lots of different pots that you can add to the succulents so that they have a little more color. I'm a huge fan of succulents, so I really had fun with this set. Here I just stamped and colored quickly with Copic markers and added some shimmer with my Wink of Stella pen. And I die cut them with the coordinating dies that are available. This image stamp set matches up perfectly with the Prickly Sentiment stamp set. Lots of sentiments in here that work well with them or can also be used on their own. A lot of clever and different things that I haven't seen much of out there, so I was really excited about it. I just black heat embossed on a piece of vellum the You're Stuck With Me sentiment and added that onto the card. And again, the background that you see there, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, so now we have the Celebration stamp set and the die set. These are sold separately but work really well together. This style is very uh, popular with honeybee stamps. They have other words out there. The nice thing is, is that you can create different words. You got celebrate, celebration, and celebrating from both the stamp and the die set. And the stamp set has lots of little words that you can team up with it to celebrate any occasion that you may need. These are really useful in kind of covering the bases of all the occasions. So it's a lot of bang for your buck. Next, we have the Possum Sentiments stamp set. Now I have a lot of cat and dog critters and I gotta say, I'm always struggling with sentiments, but this one is great. It's got some unique ones in there I haven't seen, like you make my tail wag, meow you doing, sorry it's been rough. So you can use these with any of the cat and dog stamp sets you may already have. And in their last release, Honey Bee came out with some great cat stamps. Now we have the Simple Sentiments stamp set. I'm a big fan of sentiment sets, I just love them. This one's a big one again. This has lots of words and parts of words that you can put together in different ways. So you could do, you are a blessing to me, lots of different things that you can put together. This is one of those that you wanna visit their website and see all the combination ideas that they have. I like that it's a basic font that can be used with a variety of other sentiments and stamp sets. Then we have the Simple Alpha stamp set. Now this is filled with lots of little letters, so you can do any custom greetings or even personalize the envelope for the recipient. 
The nice thing about this is there are repeated letters and also they're cut nice and close on the side. So you can put the letters close together on the acrylic block and you don't have some weird spacing. It's a great set. Now we have the Busy Bee stamp set. This one has some really cute little bees in it and flowers. So this is great for practice with watercolor or any coloring technique you may like. There are coordinating dies available to this and they have the little dash line to kind of look like the bee's trail. There is also the Build a Bee stamp set. This is really fun because you can create pretty much any bee you may want with different expressions, have the wings in different places. It'd be fun to do vellum wings on this. I think you'll be seeing a lot of great examples with this one. There are coordinating dies available and check it out. It's got the little um, dots for the trail and also the pieces to create your own die cut bee. Next we have the Be Beautiful stamp set. This one has lots of messages you can put together like be strong, be courageous, be positive. Have you heard the buzz? So you could either use the word be as is to go with the images I just showed you or you could cut off the extra E and just use it as a traditional sentiment. There's also the Be Beautiful dies. I went ahead and cut them and assembled them. It cuts the three letters for each of these B words. So you've got the top, the middle, and the stitched edge outside. And this works nicely with the sentiment set I just showed you. Now here we have some two by three and two by four large stamp words. We've got congrats, hello, happy, yippee, and hugs. These are all sold separately. But I like that they're large so they can be the focal point of your card. You can do some fun rainbow stamping techniques and more. And I'll link to a video with some ideas for that. So now it's time for the dies that are available in this release. And I'll tell you, there are some fantastic ones. I'm a big fan of the word die sets. Now there are a bunch of them. I'll show you them all. The nice thing about these word die sets is they have three dies included. One cuts the word itself. One cuts the shadow for the word and one cuts an even bigger shadow with a little dot detail edge. This is great because you can use them separately or together or maybe only use one layer. This is so much fun. I like the large size of it too. This is the hugs die, which is, of course is my favorite. Here I used a glitter paper on top, cardstock for the next layer, and another cardstock for the layer below that. Adds fun detail to it. Now I used glitter paper for all of the examples I'm showing you. So I wanted to show you, this is from this new die cuts with a view glitter paper pad. It has some beautiful colors of glitter paper that die cut nicely. And I use them on all of these examples, but you could use any cardstock or paper you may have. Here we have the hello dies. It also has those same three pieces. Here I use the glitter paper. And for the first layer I used vellum and then cardstock below that. And remember, I'll show you all the backgrounds of these in a moment. Now we have the Yippee word die set. This one's fun because it's just a happy sentiment that could be used for many celebration occasions. The little you did it image is from the celebration stamp set that I showed you earlier. Here I did the glitter paper on top, then vellum, and then cardstock underneath that. Here we have the congrats die. Again, I used a celebration sentiment below it. This has the glitter paper on top, a dark silver, which is beautiful, and then two colors of cardstock below that. It's amazing how you really don't have to do much else to the card when you have that fun layering going on. Or you could do some sort of fun background technique behind it and just stick this on top. Here we have the happy dies. This again has glitter paper, vellum, and then cardstock. Those little dot details around that bottom layer are so much fun. And again, the sentiment added to it is from the celebration stamp set. Now there are two stacking die sets in this release. We have the hexagon solid, which you see here. It cuts lots of different sizes of hexagons. And here we have the hexagon stitched stack dies, which actually doesn't cut the paper, but instead puts the faux stitching. So you can use these together if you want to, or use them separately. So I used these on the background of these cards. Now for this one, I just used an embossing pad along with the entire set of hexagon dies to make an impression on the background. You can kind of see it there in the video. I'm gonna show you how to do this in a moment. But on the right, I used the entire set of stitching dies to do an impression. And look at all that detail you get on the background. I like when you can take a white background, add a little bit of interest to it, and keep a clean and simple card. 
So this is how I do that impression. I take my die cut machine and I switch it to the tab that I use for embossing folders. So whatever die cut machine you have, just set it up like you would an embossing folder. You put down your bottom cutting plate, then you put down an embossing pad. This is an inexpensive tool that allows you to get more from your die, so I highly recommend it. You could also use a piece of craft foam or felt under there, but this embossing pad gives better results and holds up better over time. Then I put my cardstock and then the dies on top of that. And then I put my cutting plate on top of that and run it through. And what happens is the embossing mat keeps it from cutting and instead just makes an impression. And it gives really fun results. Now remember those hexagon dies you can cut apart and use separately. Here we have the hexagon bunches dies. This has three little dies in it that cuts these really detailed hexagon pieces. So you can create a fun background with this. You can also do some die cut inlay and add color pieces back into the center of each of these. You can either, even overlap them to create a new pattern. See how I'm overlapping two there? And you get a completely different look. So you can do some fun layering with this also. Now I'm really excited about these cover plates. I'm a big fan of layering background dies. Here we have the hexagon cover plates. Going from the left to the right, we have the base plate, the middle plate, the top plate, and the stipple plate. So this is what I use for most of the backgrounds you see here. I did the top plate, I die cut it twice, and I overlapped them so I could get this fun pattern just glued onto a note card on the background of this card here. So you just cut it twice, glue them on top of each other. Now on this one, I used the base plate along with the stipple plate and check out the little bit of detail you get in the background there. It's hard to see in the video, but it's so beautiful in real life. So I use the base plate and the stipple plate and I'll show you these in a moment. I just wanted to show you all the backgrounds from earlier. So these background plates are a little more pricey, but I wanted to show you that you can get a lot from them. This one uses the middle plate and then I use the stipple plate on top of it for the tiny dot detail. So you can use these all separately or you can use them all together. And I will link to a video with many more ideas for using layered background dies. Now for this one, I just took the stipple plate and I used an embossing pad and pressed it in and check out the detail you get on the background. So here's the stipple plate. You can see that it doesn't actually cut anything except the outside edge, which is slightly smaller than a note card, but it creates the tiny little dot detail in that hexagon pattern. Now for this one, it's hard to see in the video. I'm gonna to try to tilt it here. I did that stipple plate twice, once in one direction, and then I just flipped it and did it in the other direction to create a unique looking pattern. So you can really mix these up and use them creatively to get different looks each time. Let's take a closer look at each one. This is the hexagon base plate that cuts that white piece you see on the left. The middle plate cuts this smaller hexagon pattern that layers nicely on top of the base. So you could use just those two alone. You could even put the stipple plate on top of that. Here we have the top base plate, which really cuts the detailed pattern. So you can use it alone or layer it with the others. Another fun thing to do is cut two of them and layer them on top of each other in the wrong direction and you get this fun kind of lattice looking background. Now I'm gonna put this on top of the layered ones I showed you earlier and look at all that beautiful layering detail. You can do different colors for each layer, but I really love that white on white look because you get so much dimension from it. So there you can see the detail in each of these. And then finally, the stipple cover plate, you can see the little dots it does there. You could use this alone or cut first with one of the other cover plates and line the stipple one on top of it and run that through your die cut machine. And that gives you the tiny little dot detail in the hexagon pattern. By the way, all of these cover plates cut slightly smaller than a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. So you can just put them on a note card and you're ready to go. So much fun. There are also some washi tapes available from Honey Bee Stamps now. These are some of their popular stamp images from previous releases, and I just thought they were beautiful and nice for adding detail onto your envelope. So I wanted to show those. And I think there are a few products I didn't get, so be sure to head over to my blog to see those. You don't want to miss those. Also on my blog, I have images of all these cards so you can take a closer look. Sorry to hurry through all these. There were just so many great products to share. 
Be sure to check out the links below if you're interested in these products. Again, on my blog, I have more information. In the middle are some other videos that might be inspiring for the products I show today. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you have a good weekend and take care.